Hey there! I'm Robin Highskill, and this is In a Minute, the video series reading the Bible one chapter a day, five days a week. But first, we take a couple of minutes to discuss what we are about to read. And today, we are in John chapter 11. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus were siblings and very close friends with Jesus. They lived in Bethany, a village about two miles from Jerusalem. Lazarus becomes gravely ill, and they send word to Jesus. Jesus and his disciples had withdrawn from the area of Jerusalem because of the opposition that had arose from the religious authorities. And when word comes, Jesus decides to travel to Bethany. Now, understandably, the disciples were concerned because of the religious leaders. They wanted to kill him. Thomas is keenly aware of the danger, but he loyally decides to travel to Bethany with Christ anyway. And as we read through the events of chapter 11, it becomes very clear that everything is orchestrated by God to show the deity of Christ and cause people to believe in him. In John 11, we see Jesus' deep compassion for people. He is weeping not because Lazarus had died. He knew he was going to bring him back to life. He is moved to tears because of the sister's grief. Jesus declares, I am the resurrection and the life. And then he proves it decisively by raising Lazarus from the dead, even after four days in the grave. Jesus is the source and the power of resurrection. He is life and all who believe in him will have eternal life. Even the Pharisees could not deny this miracle, but they still refused to put their faith in Christ. They were more concerned about keeping their positions of authority. The high priest unwittingly prophesies about Jesus, and they come to an agreement as a council to put Jesus to death. It's interesting that they felt they could kill the one who had just raised a man from the dead. <laughs> now, as you read today, note that Jesus delayed in traveling to Bethany after hearing about Lazarus. Now, why do you think he did that? Put yourself in Mary and Martha's place. Their brother was dead. It was truly a hopeless situation. And to them, it seemed that Jesus showed up too late. But was it too late? And was there really no hope? Go read it for yourself and find out. 